Let's take a look at how you determine which cipher suite your application uses to communicate with the server. I prepared a very simple application that is capable of sending a HTTPS request to a remote server and print the response to the console. In this demonstration, the server that Google connect to is google.com. Let's run the application to see the output of the request. Okay, so here we can see the HTML output of the server. This means that our application was able to establish a connection to google.com. Now, which cipher suite was used to secure the communication? The best way to find out is to take a look at the network traffic that was sent back and forth between the client and server. Let's pull up Wireshark and take a look. I know that the application will talk to google.com. So to make life easier, I will only monitor traffic to google.com. Also, I know that the application will use HTTPS, so I will only monitor traffic sent over port 443, which is the standardized port for HTTPS. Now, I'm using a Wi-Fi connection, so I have to monitor traffic sent over the Wi-Fi network interface. When I run my application again, I can see that Wireshark is capturing some packets. We are interested in the content of the client hello and server hello packets. If we take a closer look at the client hello packet, we can see which cipher suites the client offers to the server. The server hello packet tells us which cipher suite the server selected for communication. So this is the basic process of determining which cipher suite your application uses to communicate with the server. Now what's important to note is that the client and server may support additional cipher suites not contained in the client hello or server hello packets. I will show you what I mean in another small demonstration. Going back to our simple application, note that it is a Java application. It can only be run if Java is installed. It is the installed Java distribution that determines which cipher suites are supported. I am using Java 8. To find out which cipher suites are supported in Java 8, we only have to make a quick Google search. On this page we can find this table which gives us all cipher suites that Java 8 supports. Be aware that just because a cipher suite is supported, that doesn't mean it will always be included in the client hello packet. There are ways to enable or disable suites depending on security requirements. In Java, you can go to the security settings in libsecurity java.security located in your Java installation and then go to the setting jdk.tls.disabled algorithms. This setting determines which of the supported cipher suites can actually be used. Alternatively, you can change the setting programmatically using security.setProperty method to change the jdk.tls.disabled algorithm setting. So let's do that in our simple application. Okay, so we did that. Doing the Wireshark analysis again, we can now see that a different cipher suite is being used. If you want to find out which suites are supported by the server, you can use tools like SSL Labs to find out. The website allows you to scan any HTTP server to find security related information. For instance, we see that google.com supports these cipher suites. Remember that our client supports these cipher suites. So with that information, you see that the server considers the client's cipher suites from the client hello packet to then determine the first suite that is also included in the servers list. Okay, so this is everything that I wanted to show you today about cipher suites. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.